Hello guys, um, many of you have been asking for tutorials about rigging, rigging tutorials, but uh, I don't think this is the kind of tutorial you're, you're expecting, but I think it can be a very helpful tutorial for someone who's trying to animate or even pose your character quickly we will be using the Mixamo which is part of the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription if you don't have a Adobe Creative Cloud subscription I, I really advise you, you, you to make one because you'll be able to have access to a lot of very good Adobe applications like Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects and so on and so forth. A lot of really nice tools to work. Uh, today I will be using this character. I'm, uh, this is the girly character I've modeled on previous tutorials. If you haven't watched it yet, I will put a link here so you can watch it later or even before watching this tutorial, I will be using this character. Uh, if you want to use the Mixamo tool, first of all, we will need to export the model as an FBX file. So let's do it. Here we have our character. First thing is first, before exporting a character, when you export to FBX, it will always consider the subdivision render settings on your subdivision surface. Uh, when you're animating a character, it's best to you to iterate faster, so you won't need a re really heavy mesh to work. You need a, a lighter mesh so you can iterate faster and and have a faster visual feedback. So. Uh, and, and later you always be able to retarget this animation to a, a more polygon heavy tutorial before rendering so uh, as we are not gonna be rendering here any animation we are gonna just uh, I'm gonna just show you how to uh, any uh, to animate and, and pose the, the character you need to reduce the subdivision here on the subdivision surface uh, settings. Uh, you can just put one subdivision, YouTube, it will be great and faster for you to work. Then you, you have to come here from File, Export, and then choose FBX. Uh, then you, you choose a place to, to export your model, click Save, and you have this export settings. There are some you can maybe on the the default settings you will be fine but if you have already uh, used this maybe some settings have been changed so I advise you to pay attention to this subdivision SDS subdivision settings because if you if you uncheck this you're gonna have your model on the lowest subdivision and this is not what you want uh, the other settings this is important is this textures and materials and embed textures make sure it's clicked if you want to have your your character with colors and, and on to prevail if, if you don't want this you can uncheck this and then you have just the blank character to work it, it makes no difference if you're just uh, making a uh, rigging character but it's always nice to have the character as it is so then i have to click ok and our character is already export then you need to come to the mixamo site and all you need to do is this click on this button upload character then you you come to this uh, window you have this the kind of files you can upload you can upload fbx obj or zip files uh, if you want to if you have a really heavy polygon heavy character once you upload it faster you can zip the, 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 the file and upload it uh, we just upload an fbx file then you click here select the character file uh, you go you, you 
go to the drive where you save your character you have here girly and click open and it will have a few seconds to upload the character and then you'll be sent to this window here if you have modeled your character on a different uh, axis uh, you have always to have the, the model pointing to the front you can you have here the chance to to uh, change the axis of your character if you need or rotate it but we're already on the right axis so you, you just need to click next then you you here you have this uh, this uh, markers here you have to put following this this pattern here you can use symmetry and and place you can uncheck symmetry and place the the markers individually or you can check symmetry you, you maybe want you uncheck this if you have a, a not symmetrical character but this is not our case we just you can use this symmetry uh, checked here you have the level detail of, of your skeleton here we are in the full uh, skeleton size which is the 65 joints but you can have lower uh, joints if you need if you're working with a kind of a game engine and you want to have it's a secondary character it's um, the very far from the camera camera you want to optimize your scene <coughs> you you won't need uh, such a detailed character and then you can just uh, select here less detailed character then you have just to place the markers following this pattern then we have here the chin you can you see you have a, a zoom window here to help you place the markers and you, you can put all the markers here on the the elbows, on the knees, on the groin, and when you're ready, you just click next. Mixamo will take a few seconds to process your character. Uh, it's a uh, warning you here that we, you can take up to two minutes, but uh, we have a, a very simple character and, and we export it in a lower resolution, so uh, it won't take. Uh, a lot of time to process and in a few seconds we will be able to see the character already uh, ready to to be animated uh, more just let's wait for more seconds to to uh, while we wait you can always uh, subscribe the channel if you already if you're not subscribe already you can uh, like the video if you enjoy and you share with your friends and now here our character is already as you can see it's already uh, animated and and ready to go then you you can click next your character will show up on this window uh, it's uh, it's not in the right position you're expecting but it's not a problem because when you uh, apply any animation it, it will uh, go to the right position so let's select this rumba dancing and you just need to click it and it will apply to your character and then as you can see our character is already uh, dancing and animating you have some some settings here that you can adjust the animation uh, as you liking you can make uh, the character exaggerate any the, the movements or make it more subtle or you can uh, have the arm space greater and because of our okay we have our this big head it's not the ideal case for us then you have lots of different kinds of animation you can filter the kind of animation you want here in the search you have this combat adventure sports dance all kinds of animations you can uh, you can even 
type here, the kind of animation you're looking for. For example, I have a, uh, one just an idle animation, then you have a, here a lot of different uh, idle uh, animations. Let's test this one, and it's just uh, uh, the character standing still, uh, waiting for something to happen. You have all kinds of different. Uh, let's uh, test this one here. You see, it's very. You have all kinds of. of uh, you you can test this ninja idol, uh, expecting to start a fight. So you you can select all kinds of of animations here. Uh, let's select another one. This one. No, this one. Maybe this one is good. It's just suppose not animated. Now it's very subtle animated. That's, that's this one. Okay. Then you just have to click download. When you click download, you have here the download sex settings. You have the format you want to download. You you may want to download just the skeleton, not the skin. But you're going to download it from the skin. You can select the frames per second here. And if you want to more or less keyframes reduction, we want uh, we will download it with the regular keyframes. So click download. It's preparing downloads more a few seconds, and it will prompt you to save your. No, it's download to our uh, standard place to download but uh, here I'm using the, the browser, the Edge browser, I can uh, select to where I want to download my character and then I will download it here to my girly folder. Then I can go back to Cinema 4D and just click File, Open and Idle FBX let the standard settings here and then I have here my animated character and uh, good to go. As you can see it's not a really perfect uh, rig but you, you can always improve it with using the Cinema 4D weighting tools and other uh, layer animations. You, you can improve this character a lot uh, the rigging but uh, it's a really good starting point or a really fast way to animate the character. But uh, maybe you don't want to animate the character, just want to pose and you didn't find any uh, files here that you, you like it and you want to make your own pose. So you can just type here T-Pose. And then you have the regular cheap pose here. Uh, let's apply to our character. I'm not, I'm not sure why. Let's upload the character again. And let's see why it's not applying the cheap pose. Again, you have to make the low settings that you already know. Just put the markers on the right places. Very fast process. Very simple process. Then you click next. And again, if you haven't already subscribed the channel, like or share, you can uh, do it now or just wait for a few seconds. This process depends on how uh, detailed is your character, how body and heavy is your character, and how fast your connection. Lots of different uh, different kinds of uh, variables that can make this process uh, 
faster or slower. Uh, I have a, a nice connection and this is not a really heavy character but you, take it, you see it's taking a few seconds but uh, it's much much quicker than if you do it this process yourself on Cinema 4D. Let's click next. You have this new character. It's already on the T-Pose. You can, you can even see the, the, the skeleton here if you want, just clicking on this icon here. And then just download your character again. Let's download and save our character whenever we want. Let's go to our downloads here. Select where I want to download the character. Go back to Cinema 4D and open our T-Pose file. Then we have here our Bernie character ready to be posed. Uh, even if you don't want to post or you already know how to rig your character, this is a very quick start. Because if you have ever rig the character, you know how time consuming uh, just uh, setting up the skeleton and the, the button waiting and all those things uh, can consume a lot of time. And this is a very good start point to to use to start rigging your character because it's not really a rig. It's just uh, because you, you you don't have any controls here. You have to set up. If you want to pose the characters, you have to set up manually uh, the bones and, and so that it, it it goes to the pose you want. But uh, you can uh, just build up this what this uh, your own controls and and it will be a much faster iteration than and then do it yourself well this is it guys i hope uh, it helps you i hope it uh, you have enjoyed i hope you you have some learned something new with this tutorial uh see you next week with another uh character modeling if you want to to know how to retarget the, the animations or, or you have any doubts about this process just leave it in the comments and try to answer it as soon as possible thanks for watching thanks for following the tropical cyborg channel i hope to see you next time bye bye